A piecewise function is like a step function in that a piecewise function is a function that is made up of parts of different equations, different functions, with the x values controlled by if statements. The difference is, in a piecewise function, the parts that make it up are not just horizontal lines, they're linear equations. If we look at this piecewise function, we have m of x equals two different equations, x plus two and negative two x plus one. So m of x is made up of two different lines. And those lines are controlled by these if statements. To graph this piecewise function, we're going to start by looking at this equation, x plus two. So the first part of m of, m of x is when m of x equals x plus two. Well, m of x equaling x plus two is really just y equals x plus two. And y equals x plus two is a line in slope intercept form, where the slope of this line is one and the y intercept is two. So I'm going to start by graphing this line. I have a y intercept of two, and from that point I have a slope of one, which is up one and to the right one. And I'm going to make dots all the way across my graph. I can go up one and to the right one to get a positive slope. I can also go down one and to the left one to get a positive slope because a down is negative and to the left is a negative. And if I take a negative divided by a negative, I end up with a positive slope, a positive answer. Now all of these points are on the line y equals x plus two. They're all the, it's the collection of ordered pairs that make this equation true. Whatever x value I plug in, I'm going to get my y value as an output. But I don't want to connect all of these dots for this piecewise function. I only want to connect the dots if x is less than or equal to two. This x is referring to this x. It's referring to the ordered pairs where x is less than or equal to two. So on my x-axis, I'm going to find out where x does equal to. So I'm going to go to the right two. And when I go to the right two, to get onto this line, I'm going to have to go up to four. So at this point right here, x equals two. Now I'm going to use a solid dot where x equals two because I have this or equals two. If I didn't have this or equals two, this solid dot would be an open dot. Now I want to connect all of the x values that are less than or equal to two. Well, all of the x values that are less than or equal to two are when x equals one and zero and negative one and negative two and all of these x values to the left. So I want to connect all of these dots to the left. Now it doesn't matter that I'm going down. It matters that I'm connecting all of the x values to the left. Less than in the x direction means to the left. And all of these x values to the right of this point are all of the x values where x is greater than two. So I don't need those points, I'm going to erase them. So this graph is the first piece of my function. The second piece is from right here, when m of x equals negative two x plus one. Well, m of x really takes the place of y, so I have the line written in slope intercept form, y equals negative two x plus one. So the slope of this line is negative two, and the y-intercept is one. So I'm going to graph this line. I'm going to go up one on the y-axis. That's where I'm going to start. 
and I'm going to have a slope of negative 2, which is down 2 to the right 1. Down is negative, to the right is positive. So when I go negative positive, I end up with a negative slope. I can also go up and to the left. Up is positive, to the left is negative. If I take a positive number divided by a negative number, I still end up with a negative number, a negative slope. Now all of these ordered pairs make this equation true. I want to connect the points where x is greater than 2. So the first thing that I need to do is find out when x equals 2. So I'm going to go to the right 2, and when I go to the right 2, my output is negative 4. excuse me, negative 3. Now, I don't want to hop to this next value when x equals 3. I want to stay right here when x equals 2. And I want to put an open dot at this point. The reason I want an open dot is because I can go just bigger than 2, like 2.1, but I can't be at exactly 2. And I want to connect all of the x values where x is greater than 2. Well, the x values where x is greater than 2 are to the right. It doesn't matter that I'm connecting down. What I care about is in the x direction. I want to connect to the right, greater than 2 in the x direction. And all of these extra dots to the left I don't need. Now notice that when I talk about the x direction, I'm talking about left and right. It doesn't matter that I go down and down. What I care about is connecting to the left and to the right. So this graph is this piecewise function. If I read this graph from left to right, I would be on this line all the way up to the value where x equals 2, and then when x is just bigger than 2, I'd hop down to this line. Which makes sense. It, when I'm on this line, I'm on this equation. And when I hop down, when x is just bigger than 2, like 2.1, I hop down to this line. So how do we evaluate this function? If I want to find m of negative 2. Negative 2 is taking the place of my x value. If I plug negative 2 in for x, I would have 0 or 5. But this is a function, so I don't want two values. I can't have 0 or 5. I need to pick one of those two. To figure out which one of those two I need to pick, I need to look at these if statements. These if statements will tell me which uh, equation I need to plug this negative 2 into. If I look, negative 2, this x value, is less than or equal to 2. It is not greater than 2. So I want to plug this negative 2 in for this x. Do that math, I get m of negative 2 to equal 0. So if I input negative 2, my output would be 0. Which makes sense. If I look at my graph, if I go to the left negative 2, my output is 0. I'm right here on the graph. Notice that I'm not up here at 5 on this line. This line, negative 2x plus 1, isn't even part of my graph. How about the value? m of 0. Well, I first need to figure out which equation to plug 0 into. To figure out which equation to plug 0 into, I look at my if statements. Is 0 less than or equal to 2, or is 0 greater than 2? Well, 0 is less than or equal to 2, so I want to plug 0 into this first equation. Evaluate 
and that's my answer. m of 0 equals 2, which makes sense. If I input 0, my output for this graph is 2. m of 2. Well, here we have a choice again. Is 2 less than or equal to 2, or is 2 greater than 2? Well, 2 is less than or equal to 2. So for this first, for this uh, x value of 2, I need to plug 2 into my first equation and do the math. If I look at my graph, if I input 2, am I going to be on the solid dot or the open dot? Well, the solid dot implies I got to be here. So my output, my answer for when x equals 2 is 4. The open dot means I'm not quite there unless I get just bigger than 2. If I get just bigger than 2, then I need to plug that value in to the second equation. So if I want to evaluate m of 4, 4 is greater than 2. So I want to plug 4 into my second equation. So I have negative 2 times 4 plus 1. Which makes sense. If I input 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, my output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice that I do have a function. All of these inputs have only one answer. Even though I could plug the x into either equation, this if value tells me, don't worry about this equation, use this one. Or, use this equation, don't worry about this one. So I have to first figure out which equation to plug the x value into, and then evaluate.